Hey guys, you can tell it snowed. Uh, we're in a little bit of a lull. Come here, Scott. But I don't think uh, we're done. Well, we probably got two, three inches maybe. Probably closer to two. Um, i say maybe we get five total. Uh, it's cold. I'm going to go keep some milk, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Guys, we have a little more time this afternoon than we thought. Uh, the basketball game has been canceled due to weather. Uh, the team's from about an hour away and they decided not to drive, which I totally understand. So in the meantime, I am going to put this into here. It's a little over a cup of water. And then we're gonna add those. And we're gonna try to hard boil some eggs. This is the first time we've done it in our Instant Pot. You wanna go ahead and put some in, bud? Um, we're gonna try to see if we can fit all nine of them in here. Um, and I've heard it both ways, like they're not supposed to be touching or it doesn't matter if they're touching. I'm going to not care right now. So if you've ever had farm fresh eggs, one of the things when you hard boil them is they peel terribly, like awful, not good at all. So this way is supposed to make even like fresh eggs that day peel great. So the process is, I think Homestead Boy 1 is trying to organize the eggs. I'm going to be fine, bud. So what you do is we're going to put the top on, that's good enough dude, you put the top on like this, it goes on like that, it goes to there, it's plugged in, we put this to sealing like that so that it seals, it really, it would help if you plug in the right thing and plug the um, toaster oven. So we're going to plug this in, this comes on, you put it on steam. And you put it down for six minutes, and then you let it go. So I'll let you know how it works. Okay, so by the time that it pressured up and everything, it got, it was probably about 15 minutes. It is currently done. I'm going to go ahead and release the steam. And then once we're done releasing the steam, I'm going to take them out with the tongs and put them in an ice bath right there to stop the cooking. So, let's wait for this to get done. So the pressure is released. Here's the eggs. Let's go ahead and put them in the ice bath. We'll do that one at a time. And we'll just take them over. And you just put them in there, just like you would with regular hard boiled eggs, because otherwise the heat, they'll, just, they'll continue cooking. I thought that one was gonna drop. It just adjusted in the tongs. So, I'm gonna let these cool off for a couple minutes, and then after they cool off, we'll give it the old uh, college try and see how well they peel. Okay, so I decided to come over and do this underneath the sink. So normally I'll do it right here, and I just do it under running water, and then the peel just kinda comes off. When the video that I watched on YouTube, um, the lady was able to peel the egg with one hand uh, while she was holding her camera with the other, which was pretty amazing. So, this is not perfect. You can see it's pulled off some of the egg. Let me turn off the sink. You can see it's pulled off some of the egg, but with regards to fresh eggs, this is actually really good for us. So I'm gonna make a couple of these, or I'm gonna peel a couple of these, and then we're gonna make some egg salad. This one came out much better. Just a couple dimples. Almost perfect and easy to peel. Is that enough relish? Yeah, it's fine. Just this Not much. right now. Can I do that? You want more relish or is that good? No, no. Relish is a good cucumber. Isn't it good? No, um. Nothing beats an egg salad sandwich on a cold day. Mmm. Well, this is a far cry from the mid 50s that we had yesterday. Um, it's actually 17 degrees and it feels like it's. 10 or 11 degrees. The funny part is, on today's weather forecast, 
the high was 53 because at midnight it was probably 53. Now not so much. I don't know if you guys can hear me at all. I'm heading out to grab some um, ground beef. Actually, see if I'll say it in here. Heading out to grab some ground beef because um, we're going to use some for dinner tonight. Since we don't have a basketball game, I figured we might as well have family dinner. Um, and we, don't, we don't cook a ton with ground beef, so like, I don't have a whole lot of recipes that are like, oh, put ground beef in here. So I told my wife yesterday to, she stopped at the store, sorry you can't see me, to grab um, like some hamburger helper type stuff. And I'm sure it's not going to accentuate the ground beefy flavor, like good ground beef flavor, but uh, it's what we've got right now. So we're going to do some ground beef mac and cheese, uh, put some tomatoes and bacon in it and have that for dinner. I'll show you guys. So all of the liver and heart and stuff I just gave to the pigs. I made a really bad mistake in that I just wore um, vinyl gloves out because I didn't want to get blood on my hands or on my you know mittens or anything. I was thinking to myself, ah, I'll only be out there for, you know, three or four minutes. And I was only out there for maybe between three and five minutes tops, probably closer to three. Anyway, my hands are just killing me. They are so, so cold. That wind is just, I mean, it's not 55 anymore, that's for sure. It's back down to, ouch, cold. So they were really happy with that. I couldn't take any video because I was trying to do it as fast as I could, but, um, yeah, I'm heading inside to make dinner. So the first batch of eggs went so fast, we just made another dozen. And then we made some hamburger helper there with bullseye. We're making some extra noodles because a lot of that stuff ends up being really soupy. So that and the stuff that we've gotten before from GFS, uh, the macaroni and cheese, we found that if you add like a whole other, almost a whole other batch of noodles, like a box of noodles, it makes it not quite so soupy. So we're sitting down for dinner. Hey guys, I just got finished editing a video. Uh, it is actually rendering right now, so I can upload it. But I wanted to let you know, so I stopped at my P.O. box uh, this evening and I actually had a piece of mail. This piece of mail, I'll show you, maybe maybe I won't show you the envelope because I don't want to show their address, but it is f um, from JR Airsoft Golden. So that is a YouTube channel that, um, that does stuff on airsoft <clears throat> and the young man who does it is a great young man he actually uh, is friends with my son through our co-op and the letter says read on camera so he's a youtube just like uh me but a little bit younger probably a lot like a lot younger and he's been trying to grow his channel and he's been uh you know he wants to grow it just like i want to grow my channel so he's looking for some help uh the channel is jr airsoft golden or his nickname is jrag tv um, he loved my Matt Carricker video and he's been subscribed for a while and asked me to subscribe to him. I actually already am. So he said, God bless. And, uh, if you could shout him out, he'd really appreciate it. So here it is right here. Did I rag out? I don't know if you guys can see that, but I'll put a link in the description below. Um, and actually there's a note in there from his mom, uh, cause they go to our co-op, like I said, and she said, you know, Hey, thanks for being a good example. I don't know if I'm a great example, but I try my best. So if you haven't seen him, go ahead and check him out. He's great. He has, uh, he's got a sponsor that does, um, gives him some airsoft stuff to look at and to review. And uh, the last one, he was super duper excited about this uh, airsoft gun that he got. And it was just cool to see the joy that he had when he was opening this package. So go ahead and check him out. Hey guys, I'm getting ready to go out and milk. I actually just got a message on Facebook from a subscriber who uh, doesn't comment on the videos. But every once in a while, she gives me a nugget of wisdom. So I'm not going to say her name uh, because she's chosen to remain private. But she had said just to make sure that when I'm stacking that I don't uh, restrict airflow or cover the vent. I think I should be good. Most of the shelves are not totally packed full. Maybe the top one I could probably move a couple things out of. So I'll take a look at that, but I think I should be okay. You guys take a look and let me know what you think. I'm heading out to milk. Our um, engaged couple that we mentor um, for marriage prep is coming over. And uh, I have to say, the hamburger helper, I didn't have high expectations to begin with, but it was, it was okay. It wasn't great. It wasn't bad. You know, we'll see. We've got a couple different um, types to try. That was the double cheesy macaroni or something. So we'll see. 
Anyway, I'm heading out to Milk. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I really cherish each and every one of you uh, because you each bring a different perspective and point of view and different knowledge to the channel. So thanks so much. Keep commenting, and I will see you guys in the next video.